Hi, I'm Nathan Cruz and welcome once again to Inside the Toy Room. So today we're going to be bringing you some toy news, particularly about the Godzilla vs Kong film that's hopefully going to be released in 2021. It's been pushed back so many times that, you know, God only knows. Now, there's been some very exciting news in regards to Godzilla toys. NECA have announced that they're going to be producing their final set of Godzilla toys and they're not going to be doing any more. NECA's released some amazing Godzilla figures over the years. I've got one right here from the King of the Monsters. Some of their newer ones that are releasing are kind of like the models of Burning Godzilla and Godzilla from uh, King Ghidorah in 1991, as well as a few other colour variants. They look very exciting, but what we're going to be talking about is Playmates' release of Godzilla vs Kong figures. Now, before I continue with this, if you don't want this film spoiling for you, then I'd advise not watching the rest of this video, and it's not often you'll hear me say that on this channel because, you know, viewership numbers and all that stuff. But I don't want this to ruin the film for anybody because I know how much I hate that when I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so look away now. So firstly, I think there's about 15 figures that are getting released for this. There's different variations of Godzilla to begin with. There's a huge Godzilla and Kong that's going to be released, which they've pretty much done with every series since they started producing the Godzilla action figures. In fact, just the other day I was in Smith's Toys and saw the one from the King of the Monsters. It's enormous. Detail isn't the best, but it's enormous and it looks cool. And they're going to be releasing one of them for the Godzilla versus Kong. But there's also one that's Mega Godzilla. Now, now, this is the first spoiler. This is Godzilla with some kind of like red metal armor around it, as you can see in this picture here. Perhaps he gets battered by Kong in their first encounter that he then needs this to help him fight him again. There's a Kong figure that comes with a giant axe. If Kong has a giant axe in this film, I'm very, very excited about this. Now, a lot of these action figures are already available. You can find them online. I know a few people in the United States who have just walked into Walmart and been able to pick these up for around $25 depending on which unit that you buy. Some of the more interesting action figures that have been released are the villains. Again, they're giving away some of the spoilers to the film here because the film's not set to be released till March 2021. But these action figures was you know, pushed out now because they were supposed to be ready for the original release date, which was November 2020. But yeah, that ain't happening anymore. So one of these villains is called Nazuki. It looks like a snake. There's a frilled neck lizard. <laughs> mixed with a snake I guess is the best way to describe this it's a really weird looking Muto now they've done really good I felt in creating some new monsters as well as bringing us some of the originals you know we've seen the the Mutos from the first Godzilla film the skull crawlers from Skull Island I think this is going to incorporate them into this film as well I've seen action figures released of them as well as one called Warbat although there is speculation that that's just another name for Nazuki I'm not too sure on that the picture that I saw was quite pixelated anybody that can confirm that in the comment section below please let us know because um, I'm really interested to see these other than that, like I'm trying my best to stay away from these. You know, there's also rumors of Mecha Godzilla, and I've again I've only seen a really badly pixelated version of this, but uh, eh, I'm not a fan. I don't like the look of it. It looks weird. Mecha Godzilla has gone through so many different makeovers over the years, whether it be the original 1970s one, which I personally is my favorite because he just looked terrifying. When he became a good guy and he's created by G-Force to fight Godzilla, when he becomes Kairu, there's all these different incarnations of, of Mecha Godzilla. We previously spoke about the Mecha Godzilla that was in the Godzilla animated series. You can check out this episode right here and the, the, the look that he had there. This is, I guess, a bit of a mix of those. I don't like the look of the dorsal fins and I don't like the fact that it looks like he's got a blender on his hand, like this weird, it just looks weird. Uh, but again, I, I'm hoping I'm gonna be proved wrong. I'm gonna see it in the cinema and see the look of this in CGI or whatever. Let's face it, it's gonna be CGI. They don't do it with men in rubber suits anymore. Um, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna have a different opinion of it after I see the film. Again, Playmates, you know, they're not known for making the most highly detailed toys, but they do make really cool toys. In fact, I remember when the first Godzilla film came out in 2014 and it, 
the they had one that breathes fire in fact it's up there in my toy collection and i remember when that got released thinking i would have loved this when i was a kid like they just you tip the tail up and the blue bolt comes out and flashes and makes a sound like that's amazing for a kid right but for an adult collector i made again an adult collector right <laughs> Yeah, they'll probably start thinking, yeah, we're not going to make toys for a 30-year-old man to grow up, Nathan, but, you know, we love this stuff. <laughs> SH Figure Hearts haven't made anything Godzilla in a while, but, you know, some of their stuff back in the day was incredible, so I'd love to see if they came to the dance list. It's a shame that NECA's going to be stepping away, particularly when Godzilla vs. Kong is coming out, because I think there's so many good toys that they could make out there, dioramas as well. Diamond Select have actually entered the Godzilla frame um, and recently they released uh, the 1991 Godzilla surrounded like, like by a, a blue ocean or it could be his atomic but I don't know but it, it looks amazing it looks like he's coming out of the sea it's kind of like a little diorama and they made an alternate version of Ben and Godzilla from the course 1995 film Godzilla vs Destroyer and he's surrounded by molten lava on this one that looks awesome so if they come into the fold with this or when they can have dioramas of Godzilla fighting Kong or this mech Godzilla and all these other monsters that have been created by Legendary for this upcoming film you know it's, it's quite exciting it's an exciting time for a Godzilla fan but it's even more exciting for a Godzilla toy collecting fan so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what they come out with these so hopefully this film isn't going to be delayed any further because I've been waiting for this for too long you know perhaps I'll get pushed back even further that I'll still be doing this toy room show and I'll have a grey beard much like Kong's going to have in this film um, but either way I'll be still asking you to subscribe give it a thumbs up share it out and uh, help us climb up to a thousand subscribers because that's our next milestone thank you for supporting this channel so far and we'll catch you again next time inside the toy room